In this video, I'm attempting to um, show you a new technique that I uh, have been playing with over the past few months. I'm using muslin. We call it muslin in Australia, but you call it um, cheesecloth in the US. And I'm using pigment ink, so I mix it with water. Um, and it's very easy to, um, to dye the fabric. It's um, no other ingredients at all, just the dye. I mixed uh, the ink with water. I wanted to have some lighter than other um, and I cut the muslin into strips. Some of it was as narrow as three inches and some was a little wider um, and then just dipped it into that, uh, that cup actually. Now, I ha of course you have to hang it out to dry. Uh, one tip is don't stand upwind of the uh, ink. <laughs> When, when you hang it out to dry because I've got, I, it got ink all over me. And when I was doing this, it started to rain, so I left some out there just to see what the effect would be, and it was really, really quite interesting. Um, and because uh, I had to wait for it to, to, to dry a little, so uh, I just had a cup of coffee and uh, got on with it pretty much. And this is the result. I mean, and I think the muslin takes the ink beautifully. I was really, really pleased with the effect. I had this beautiful fabric, McKenna Ryan, and these koi fish, and I just um, fused one onto the fabric and then began to lay the muslin over and stitch in horizontal lines across. And um, then you can see here that the fish looks like it's floating in the water, so that the muslin gives it a, an eerie effect. Um, and uh, it was sewn down with Masterpiece, and I love 50 weight cotton and. Uh, these superior threads are fabulous. So here it is finished. This is just a little sample. And I was really, really pleased with it. Um, and I, I don't know about you, but I always make a sample before I do a project. This is the back. I like uh, the back of my quilt to look as good as the front. And um, so I show the back as much as the front, I suppose. I used McKenna Ryan fabric and fused the koi fish. Um, to the, the fabric and um, then pinned it ready for quilting and um, in this I just quilting the layers together of course but I just laid the muslin over the top now it has a few problems in that that will stretch quite considerably um, because the muslin is quite um, porous you know it, it's quite loose so um, I had to be careful but um, I think it, it turned out quite quite successful now look this is a funny little thing that I've had in my studio for years and um, like all of us um, the children just drop in and drop the baby off and so uh, that little uh, fairy keeps Mr. Caden who's a couple of months old um, very amused um, I then drew this fish. He's about three foot uh, long and I drew him on cream fabric and I used Sukaneko pigment ink pens and a black pigment ink pen and coloured it in and then fused it and um, I ironed it to the back, no not to the back, I ironed it to the quilt when I had completed all the quilting, you can see some wool here. I actually hand quilted um, some as well. I don't hand quilt very often. He was applied on to the quilt, um, and I applied him with monofilament, a smoke monofilament, going round all those little scales. And uh, it took quite quite some time. So uh, I imagine that. Um, Next time I'll remember how many scales there were. So, of course, I had to have another cup of coffee. Um, and uh, I think it looks okay. You can't see the quilting, um, but you get a wonderful effect. And uh, I will also mention, too, that I had a lot of trouble getting the dye off my hands. Now, I turned around and suddenly Miss Tilly was sitting at the table quilting my quilt. Is the needle hard to pull out, Tilly? Yes. Yes. 
You're doing a very good job of putting the binding on though. Are you allowed to sew your quilt? She said so. 